And I want to begin from exactly what uh, Kelly spoke about. And I think her account of where Wales is is actually frightening. I didn't realise, uh, as she was telling me, Wales is actually behind Romania and Greece in, the, in terms of economic competitiveness and development. That's terrifying. It's terrifying for, for our country. Everything conspires against the very thing that will advance us. And the very thing that will advance us is, is you and me, each and every one of us, working together in a profoundly different way, under a profoundly different system, to change the outcome for us all. You're all, in some sense, socially driven organisations with ethos, but you have capacity, ability, money and assets. So in my view, you should be the new vanguard, ethos-driven institutions to change the game for your own communities. Because if you don't do it, goodness knows who will. So what Stop doing income supplementation. <clears throat> Start doing assets and asset generation. And obviously as housing, many of you are already doing this, anything from shared equity to whatever. But think more broadly about what assets might be. Think about business startups, think about social enterprises, think about taking over the functions of the state in a way that recapitalizes um, people. It's to think about innovation. What can you do to broker in new options, new opportunities, new outlooks for people? Every problem that we have is an income stream. Every income stream can be capitalised. Every capitalisation of an income stream creates a capital effect. And until we can recover the idea of what you ought to be and what you ought to choose and how you ought to behave as a man and how you ought to behave as a woman and how you need to bring up children, we are not going to change the moral agenda. So become moral institutions. Live up to your mission, and you cannot live up to your mission without becoming moral. I think that's controversial. Um, so... Let me end on this agenda. <laughs> uh, you have to become agents of economic, social, educational and cultural renewal. If you don't, you will fail. If you do, you will succeed. Thank you very much. I wrote an article in Inside Housing called Stand Up for Tenants. And the reason I wrote that, because in England we have a housing minister called Grant Shapps who continues to criticise housing associations and continues to criticise the people we work with. And I feel very strongly that what we do is a source of good in the country and that this minister has no right to continue to criticise the work we can do. He can challenge what we do. He can say that we need to do more, but he can't just sit there and criticise. And actually, the title for today's uh, session actually comes from something that uh, Grant Shapps said. Um, and what he said is, for years, the system for social housing has been associated with injustice, where rewards are reaped for, for those who know how to play the system best. Despite this terrible image, a lazy consens consensus in social housing has ensured that for an entire generation, no one has bothered to do anything about it. Well, one of the things I want to say is there are people out there who are doing things about it and have done things about it for a long time. And I'm sure some of you in this audience will agree with that. I think we all have a challenge to do more in the new world, but we shouldn't recognise what we've done already and how important that's been, not for us as businesses, but for the communities we work in and the people we work with. But certainly in England, some of the work that Grant Shapps is doing sounds the death knell of social housing. And I think we, as, an organ as, as people who work in social housing, need to make sure we stand up against that threat that we face. But we can only do things by doing things better, not by just sitting here and being complacent. We must do things better. So is there a lazy consensus? Grant Shapps, in response to my article, said actually he was aiming that comment at politicians. He didn't mean housing associations. He didn't mean our customers. I actually think he's wrong. He did mean us, but never mind. He was demonising our sector, which I think is wrong. And I've said already that we need to stand up to that. I think it's interesting that this conference is talking about the Olympics and has developed the Olympic theme, because I think we are, in a way, athletes, and in a way, we should seek to be champions. We should seek to be the best that we can be. You in this audience should seek to be the best that you can be. That's what we do on a day-to-day -day basis. We transform lives 
and communities. Yes, we can do more, but don't forget that we do it already. I'm proud to work in social housing. I've seen the innovation. I've seen the changes. I've seen the values that are really important. Don't forget the values. I get angry when the minister talks about a lazy consensus, even though I accept there is a challenge and there is a challenge for, Ray, for, for Wales. I think social housing is a source for good in the country. I think it is a source for good yesterday, today and tomorrow. And I hope that you will continue to, to fight for social housing.